Good morning, everyone. How is everybody doing today? I am doing so fine. I have some nice Starbucks right here. So good. Hold on, y'all. Hmm. I love my Starbucks coffee. Well, I am in this kitchen getting ready to make some nice um, French toast. I am going to be using an everything bagel today that I purchased from Panera Bread. I've already sliced it up. Okay, it's nice and fresh and delicious. And in this bowl here, I have three eggs and just a little drop of milk. I am going to be adding some spinach. I bought a ton of spinach and I need to get rid of it. So I have chopped up this spinach and this is about uh, three tablespoons of spinach. Okay, three tablespoons of chopped spinach. I'm just going to put it all in there, okay? And I am also going to put some white and cheddar shredded cheese in the bowl, okay? This is probably about three tablespoons of shredded cheddar cheese as well. Not putting it all in there. I put about two tablespoons of the shredded cheese in there. And because I'm using an everything bagel, which already has salt and pepper on it, along with some uh, onions. If you look at this, you can see it has poppy seeds, sesame seeds, salt and pepper. Um, I could have used a plain bagel or sesame bagel. I don't have any plain bagels. So I'm gonna use my everything bagel, which I love. That's actually my fresh, my favorite bagel. But I am gonna hit it with a little bit more fresh black pepper. And I'm just gonna give this a stir here, get that all nice and mixed up and everything. This is more of a brunch than a breakfast, but I just like bagels so much, and I like to fix them up a lot too, that I'm just, you know, I'm doing it for breakfast. And so I'm gonna be using my Power Smokeless Grill. I love this grill because pretty much nothing sticks to it. I'm gonna put about two teaspoons of, of uh, not quite two teaspoons, maybe a teaspoon and a half of this olive oil in two separate spots on the grill where I'm gonna be placing my bagels. But I'm also gonna put a pat of butter on there too, okay? Because I want my, I want this to be buttery and delicious. I have this grill on 400, okay? Let's take it down to 350. And it's not like I'm making, you know, steak or something. I'm just doing a nice French toast. So I'm going in here, okay, getting that nice and saturated, okay? Nice and saturated. This will actually make more than two pieces of French toast. But because I only have the one bagel, that's the only thing. I'm only going to be making two pieces of French toast. Okay, there's one. Get that nice and saturated. Okay, y'all see how that's looking? This is going to actually be a very delicious breakfast here. Sometimes you got to go in with your hands. Just make sure your hands are clean. My hands are clean, so I'm good. And you see how I have a little bit of extra... Um, egg and spinach on top. I want that to remain on top of there. So, I'm going to go in like so and just put just a little extra on top, okay? Because I want to actually eat the eggs and the spinach, not just the bread. Okay, so I'm just going to go in just with a little extra of my mixture on top. And just so basically, I have three eggs in the bowl, but I'm using a total of two eggs to make this, okay? Let me just close that top. I have a pre-moistened paper towel. You can, uh, I like to keep these in the kitchen where you just take a paper towel, you put water on it, and then you can also put some hand sanitizer on there, work it in there real good. So if you can't get to the sink right away, you can at least, you know, have pretty clean hands, you know, while you're cooking. So let me put this aside here. And I'm just going to let that cook 
cook. And I'll let you guys know when it's ready to turn over. Okay. All right. I have I do have a little bit of shredded cheddar cheese yet. I might put a little bit of this on top of my French toast when it's done. I'm not sure yet. But I know what I am going to do. I have some cherry tomatoes here. Beautiful cherry tomatoes. I have six of them in this bowl. And I have five green olives, okay? I am with the pimentos inside. I am actually going to top my French toast with these uh, diced cherry tomatoes and olives, okay? It's a wonderful way to uh, use up miscellaneous ingredients that you have. I purchased a bunch of these tomatoes probably about two weeks ago. I didn't eat them all right away and I didn't want to throw them out. So I washed them, put them in the freezer and they freeze very well. I was actually going to use them in spaghetti sauce, but this, and I do have some left, but this is gonna work just fine for my French toast as well. Okay, let me just chop these up. I'm gonna chop up the tomatoes and the olives together. Gonna hit it with some black pepper. And this is what I'm going to put on top of my French toast when I'm done. Or I can put it on the side as a little garnish. But I'm gonna eat this, um, you know, I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> kind of like a tomato and olive relish, if you will. You could put garlic in here if you want, fresh garlic. You can mince up some onions in here. You know, it's basically just whatever you like. Not everyone likes the same thing, you know. I happen to love tomatoes, okay? Now, let me put that in there. There are my tomatoes. Nice and diced up. Now I'm going to dice up my green olives. But first, let me check on my French toast, see how we're doing here. Woo, I love this grill because pretty much nothing sticks to it. Let's see how this is doing. This is doing wonderfully well. I'm gonna turn that over, okay? Turn that over just like that. Let it cook on the other side. This is looking pretty much amazing, okay? Smells so good. Mm, 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 mm. And it's an easy meal. It's a cheap meal. Doesn't take long to make, you know. And it's going to fill me up until dinner time. Okay, now I'm going to mess up my black, my green olives here. Oh, I almost said black olives. I don't really like black olives unless they are in some type of a Greek recipe. I do like them on pizza though. So I'm using five green olives today. Um, you know, olives are very salty. They taste good, but they're very salty. That's why I'm not using salt on the French toast. I didn't put any in the egg mixture. I'm just not going to put any salt because I, mean, I have salty olives here. Those everything bagels there have salt on them and they also have black pepper. The only additional thing I'm adding is more black pepper, and that's because I love black pepper. Okay, so I have my tomato and olive mix here, my little tomato and olive relish, if you will. And let me give that a quick stir. Okay. It's gonna be very delicious. You wanna make sure your tomatoes are not watery, because you don't want to make your bread wet. Try to drain off some of that water, which I'm going to do here. Oops, there's an olive that got away from me there. Let me chop that up real quick. Okay, get that in there, get it stirred up. Mmm, I want to put lime in here so badly, but I don't want lime on my French toast. But I love the idea of having tomatoes, olives, and lime. I love that tangy, salty flavor just about on anything. And also I love cayenne pepper or any type of pepper on my food. Okay, so let's see how this is looking here. This is looking amazing and it's done. That didn't take very long at all. 
I'm going to let you all see how this looks. I'm going to actually put this on a plate, okay, and let you all see how it looks. Now hang on one second, okay? Okay, and this is how my French toast is looking so far. And as you can see, I took the extra mixture that I had left over, and I'm just gonna give that a flip and have a nice egg on the side, okay? That'll be done in just a couple of minutes, but that is looking wonderful. That looks so good. It's actually gonna be quite delicious. And here's what my tomato, okay, and olive rel relish looks like. Okay, give that a pause. Okay, okay, my French toast is done. So is my extra egg here, which looks more like an omelet than anything else. So delicious, wow. That just looks so, so, so delicious. If you love eggs, you'll definitely love this meal here. This is what it's looking like, okay. And I'm going to put a little bit of this tomato and olive mixture on top of my bagels here. That's gonna be very delicious indeed. And you know, you don't have to do this. If you don't like tomatoes and olives, just do you. You know, whatever you like, that's what you put on your food. I don't like, um, what do you call those things that they use in a lot of the Creole dishes? Okra, oh my gosh. I don't like okra. And some people won't eat a particular meal unless it has okra in it. So that's why I'm saying you do you. You know what your taste buds are like. Okay. And that's going to do it. I'm gonna hit this with a little black pepper. Okay. And my nice French toast is done. Y'all see that? Have a nice little egg on the side there. Doesn't that look delicious? So simple. Whoops, I don't want to lose it. <laughs> so simple and easy to make. And cheap, cheap, cheap. This whole thing here probably costs, oh, $2.50. That's about it. Okay. Y'all, well, let me sample this. Let me go ahead and taste this in front of you all. I'm gonna have a little bit of this wonderful egg. Okay. So delicious. Doesn't need anything. I'm not gonna have my bagel yet because I need to get a picture. I need to get a picture. I need to get a thumbnail. But I promise you, it's fantastic. Y'all make that. Simple, easy, and cheap. Bye, y'all.